<laughs> now this is a topic I'm gonna probably rant about quite a bit. I am a massive comic book geek. As you all know, I have expressed it. I mean, I've got Funkos, I've got a Nightwing money box. I am a big geek and I am proud of it. But you know what I don't like? Is when the people who claim to know everything, especially everything about comics, even though they've never picked up a comic book in their life. Because of a TV show called The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> right, don't get me wrong. If you enjoy The Big Bang Theory, that's fine. But I have been in arguments with people, people who don't read comic books, by the way, who have tried to say to me that you're an idiot for thinking Aquaman is a good character. Well, I am going to rant today, and I am going to tell you a couple of reasons why Aquaman does not suck. Number one, he is the king of Atlantis. He is royalty. He has a fit queen next to him. He's got an army. He's got a kingdom to rule. Like, and he has got... Ugh, people who say that this is stupid. If Aquaman is as stupid as you say, he could just get his whole army to do his bidding for him and probably kill everyone. Number two is that his senses are enhanced. Think about it. He can see so far ahead into the distance, underwater. All I see is a blue blur and sometimes a blurry person who looks like a blob. Imagine having all of those enhancements in your senses. Your smell, your sight, your hearing, your, your, your taste. I don't know why taste is relevant, but it could be. Number three is the fact but people say that he is useless because he can only talk to fish. Yes, this has been the running joke for several, several years. People say that Aquaman is rubbish and a stupid character because of jokes such as Robot Chicken and Family Guy and of course the Big Bang Theory. I'm just going to tell you about a scene from the New 52 Justice League Origins graphic novel. What can you do apart from talk to fish? <laughs> Sharks emerge from the sea, jumping 10 feet to attack Darkseid's army. Do you have sharks that could do that? I didn't think so. Number four is the fact that Batman does not have an alternative plan for him. For anyone who has read a comic will know that Bruce Wayne has an alternative plan for if the Justice League members ever go rogue, that they turn evil and Batman has to fight them. Aquaman, he has no idea. He hasn't got a clue how to defeat Aquaman. It, to be fair, I have no idea how to, to defeat Aquaman. Nobody does! Of course, every character has a weakness, because what would be the point in them? They wouldn't be identifiable. But saying that Aquaman is useless when he's the only member of the Justice League that Batman doesn't have an answer for, and who has bested and defeated every member of the Justice League, might I add, not so useless now, is he? The final point I'm going to make, which shows that he is not useless, pressure underwater. People who go on holidays or go swimming or go scuba diving, you know that there is a lot of pressure underwater. You've got to work twice as hard to go swimming because you can't just run normally underwater. If you can, that's pretty impressive, but I very doubt you can. Aquaman can swim up to 150 miles per hour underwater. He can fight underwater. He can make weapons underwater, use the water as his weapon. When he gets onto land, people say, oh, he's useless on land, you can't do any of that. He hasn't got the pressure fighting against him now, has he? So he could poke you in the head and you probably get a concussion. And I'm not saying that he is as fast as Superman or the Flash, for example, but he is very, very fast. And secondly, he is as strong as Wonder Woman and Superman. Anyone that says to me in the future that Aquaman is a stupid character, a pointless superhero, then I'm gonna rant at you. Thank you guys for watching this geeky rant video about my love of geeks and culture and comics and all that sort of stuff. You can probably expect some more on this channel. But this is only the second day of my VidMe week, so stay tuned for tomorrow where we have the third installment. Right then, take care guys, enjoy the rest of your week, and I shall see you tomorrow.